Hello, DAV National Adjutant Mark Burgess here with an important update on the impact this pandemic has had on DAV's mission of service to our nation's veterans and their families. Out of an abundance of caution for the health, safety, and well-being of DAV members, their families, our guests, and staff, we've canceled the 2020 DAV and Auxiliary National Convention scheduled for August 1st in Dallas. This decision was made only after all options were thoroughly researched. It was our sincere hope that we would have been able to hold the event that honors our volunteers and leaders. However, as we monitored conditions and guidance over the past few months, we came to the conclusion that we just couldn't hold the event in a way that would make it accessible to our members. Social distancing requirements that will be in place through the date of the event would make it impossible to accommodate an effective event. As you know, in many cases, we are seeing increases in infections in areas that have recently reopened. The safety of our veterans, many of whom are particularly vulnerable as a result of their military service, is a paramount concern and travel would put them at additional risk. We will continue to update the National Convention page on our website and use other DAV channels to inform all of our members on any developments. We'll also look to host a virtual event and post content so that we can honor our members, update the nation on the state of DAV, and inform and educate the many who carry out our mission on a regular basis. We still plan to carry out our centennial celebration in Cincinnati in late September. We'll update that page on DAV.org if anything changes with those important events. We remain committed to providing our crucial services to the men and women who serve, and I'm proud of our nationwide DAV staff and their ability to adapt to the new reality brought on by the outbreak. It is a testament to the unwavering dedication from everyone on the DAV team. Now more than ever, DAV stands ready to assist all veterans in need and to continue our vitally important mission to keep our promise to the nation's veterans. As you can imagine, we're implementing some changes to adjust to our nation's current needs. However, all DAV offices still remain closed to foot traffic and walk-ins to reduce the chance of transmitting the coronavirus. But you can speak to a benefits advocate Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time by calling 1-888-604-0234. You can also send an email to your local DAV office by going to benefitsquestions.org. All of our in-person career fairs have transitioned from physical to virtual events for the remainder of 2020. An updated schedule and all of our employment resources can be found at jobs.dav.org. You can still volunteer with DAV, but some additional restrictions are in place to ensure safety of our volunteers and the veterans we serve. A mask is required for everyone riding in a DAV transportation vehicle. Everyone must use hand sanitizer before and after entering or leaving a vehicle. And all vehicles must be sanitized before and after each use. There will be limits on how many veterans we can carry. For example, a vehicle that can transport seven should only transport three individuals. We ask all of our volunteers to please strictly continue to adhere to social distancing standards and keep your health and the health of our veterans foremost on your minds as you help them get the care they need and have earned. Local VA medical centers may have unique guidelines to ensure the safety of all who participate in this program. We anticipate needing a lot of help. So if you're interested in volunteering with DAV, please email vavs at dav.org. That's vavs at dav.org. If you need to travel to a VA facility for an appointment, Leave early to give yourself extra time for the screening process. VA is requiring masks or other face coverings before entering any of its facilities. If you have your own, you should bring it. If you can't, VA will provide one. VA is following the CDC's guidelines for COVID-19 testing. But if you are tested, it will be free of charge. And remember, do not go directly to a VA facility without calling first. If you've lost employment or business income due to the pandemic, DAV is offering $250 grants to any veteran with a VA rating. To apply, go to DAV.org slash COVID relief. Funds are being distributed on a first come, first served basis, and there's no membership requirement. DAV had an opportunity recently to help present the Financial Path Forward, a virtual town hall for America's veterans. Through our partners at Comcast, NBC, Universal Military and Veterans Affairs, CNBC, and Acorns Invest in You Ready, Set, Grow, 
This event featured some great veteran panelists. It was hosted by Contessa Brewer. The link can be found on our relief page for those interested. Lastly, the National Disabled Veterans Tea Tournament for 2020 is canceled. VA made that decision out of an abundance of caution and to limit exposure to veterans, especially for those with underlying medical conditions. We are constantly reviewing all of our planned events, and if anything changes, we'll be sure to let you know. Remember to take care of yourself and those in your community. Please share this message with any veteran you think needs help during these trying times. Stay tuned to DAV.org COVID for updated information on the impact of the pandemic and our response.